so I'm going to start this one with some white rather than a burnt sienna or orange color and instead of uh, sketching out a composition by using you know a color similar to that I'm going to start with this white so I'm looking for the the brightest areas of the highlight right now that's kind of the snow down below and the paint is very thin just a small amount on my my brush so all this color will blend in well with whatever I'm adding to it as I go here once I get into some of the others Okay, so I'm going to grab some Thalo Blue here, along with some red. Got some big pines through here. It doesn't have to be black, but something nice and dark at least gets me in the right direction. Same with over here. And I'll pick up some of the cad yellow deep. A little bit more. And of course, if you're new, welcome. I encourage you to check out my membership below if you're interested in the full length tutorial of this and many more. All of these paintings that I do here on the channel, as well as my reference photos. Uh, so check out uh, either the join button or in the description. And then a little more of the same color, closer up to where we're going to have the sun. And these big old pines are going to be popping through. So we're going to have some willows here with a little more detail, but it's not a big deal right now. I just want to get those blocks of color throughout those areas kind of fan it out and then it'll be a nice nice way to tie the, the the objects together I don't have to get crazy but just something to give me a little bit of a something to to guide me or follow me when I'm up in this area because tying the trees together with the sun and the sky it's a tricky deal. Um, That's kind of how I like to go about it. I'm going to grab the white. Just sneak some of that blue. Yeah, maybe something like that. I'm going to run that across. And I'm going to take the white, and what I'm going to do now is grab some of the yellow. Not too much, it's going to blend in. A little bit of that same color from up above. Right through here. That's better. I think I'm going to stick with that just for now. And again, I'm going to keep it thin because I'm going to add the detail over the top. Um, I'm not going to go too high up to the top of that horizon line, so I'm going to stay kind of low, work the bottom of this area. right across the bottom. Some of that blue is rubbing off as I press a little harder with the brush.
trying to find the right tone, something similar to what I have. That's better. And a couple little trees coming up. Okay, just dab that off and I'm going to go from the other direction by starting with this yellow deep cad orange somewhere in between we're gonna need some white with that pinch of the red maybe even the magenta and I want to start to tie in that cloud with the back of it, shaded area back here, and that magenta is going to help that help bridge bridge that gap. Keeping it thin, so I can make changes if I need to. Take that and kind of right in between, drag that brush through and start to soften that layer up. Blend those two together. Okay. I think that's all I need for that particular brush right now. And I'm going to switch to the dagger striper. Start with some of that white. And just pulling that away. Kind of just letting that color fall off on there. There we go. Now, I think I can get this cloud up here touch brighter. Yeah, something like that. Pick up a little of that lighter color. And at this point, I don't need to move to to clean the brush in between too much. These brush hairs on this brush are not going to hold a lot, so I can dry it off pretty easily. So I'll just dab it off on the napkin as I go. But little swirls, pull it down. shadow up here so much I think so much of the the painting overall is in a, with a subject like this is really dependent on the sky and so I, I think a lot of the work I focus just kind of right through this area really it's what I want to the, to capture is the viewers attention pink, a little of that blue, and I just went for it, let that cloud just kind of drift off into the sky. more white and some of this yellow touch brighter than what we just had maybe some of the blue
and give the clouds a couple openings. And I'm going to work on the horizon line back here. So again, nothing has to be exact. Just kind of have fun with this. A little taller one right there. Some of this lighter color right here. And I want to start to, to pick apart some of the snow back in these mountains and add a little texture, a little something to them. So no wrong way to do this part either. And just kind of think about the shape of the mountains. using the back of this brush I'm just gonna tap it on and if it blends into some of that white that's okay just kind of keep adding on top of it and eventually get it to be how I intended. And just sort of in steps I can keep darkening the things that I want to dark and work on And just going for it back here. And just giving it a little bit of texture as I go through here to just break it up, get you, and just add some texture to these hills.
pick up some orange, some of the yellow. Red, even. Create some highlights through here. Some breaks in the trees, some snow back here. And grab this yellow and the orange and see what this do and I'm just going to start to brighten up some of these areas where I'm going to have the light peeking through some of the orange brighten up some of these willows down here Let's go back to some of those aspens up there. And I'm grabbing some gray here. A little bit brighter. And give the indication of some of the tree trunks sitting back here. Grab some of this yellow and bring that down into the mixture. And I'm going to start to just add some highlights through here. See a little magenta, a little white in that. Brighten up a couple of these top tree tops. Every time the color gets kind of washed out and white, I'll just add some yellow or orange and just warm it up again. And just keep breaking that up up into the sky. I'm switching to more of the color of the, the clouds behind up there. Just a little texture now of some tree branches. And we start to add the branches of the willows. And they kind of go all over the place here, so we'll kind of zigzag a few. Grab some yellow, a couple highlights on the treetops back here. So 
so with that I'll add a few more details but of course uh, please be sure to check out the memberships below the video if you want to get the full time uh, with commentary and reference photos as well uh, we have a private discord uh, a lot of fun stuff more details if you just check out the uh, join button or the video description so thank you for joining and until next time happy painting We'll see you then.